and triangle RST point W lies on the line RT. So I'll put a W here. Next, they say the cosine of RSW, RSW. So we kind of draw a line and they want the cosine of this angle. And then they want to subtract the sine of WST or this angle. So this is going to come down to a little rule that we can remind ourselves with a simple right triangle. So I'm going to draw this down below. Right triangle, we can label this A, B, and C. And our sides, we want to label 3, 4, and 5. And we can do something similar to what they're asking. We can say, okay, well, what is the sine of A here? And the sine of A is just going to be our opposite over our hypotenuse. So four over five, and then we can say, okay, well, what is the cosine of C? And that's going to be our adjacent over our hypotenuse four over five. So we know to look out for this role. If you ever see a combination of cosine and sine, or if you see like this weird sine or cosine of 90 minus X. So we demonstrated the role here, and that is complementary angles have the same cosine and sine. So the sine of this angle, say this is 30, is going to be equal to the cosine of its complement, which is whatever adds up to 90. So that's what they kind of sneakily did here. S is a 90 degree angle. So RSW plus WST is 90 degrees. So no matter what we fill in for those 30, 60, etc., the cosine of one angle and the sine of its complement are equal. So if I subtract them, I'm going to get zero here.